Who is your favorite characters in Klonoa? Klonoa? <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite character in Sonic? Sonic. I had to think about that one. It was it's it, between Sonic and Knuckles. Really? Yes. As for the girls, that's something else completely different. I thought you heard it was Sally out of the girls. Yes, out of the girls. There's Sally and then there's also Mina. Ah! Gimme! Gimme! What? A ghost! <laughs>And then, of course, the best Kirby character, your favorite Kirby character is... Kirby. And your favorite Mega Man character is... Mega Man. And your favorite uh, Mario character is... Yoshi. You just ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I can't lie about that. And your favorite Rayman character is... Rayman. And your favorite uh, Rabbit character is... None. <laughs> you just ruined it again. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, just, I had to tell you the truth. And your favorite Knights character is... Knights! <laughs> And your favorite Pokemon is? Arcanine. Okay, that's a unique one. And your favorite Pokemon anime character is? None. Well, you just ruined it again. Um, I gotta tell the truth, man. I can't I, lie to the masses <laughs> like that. Um, and your favorite, uh... I, I think I ran out. It's all the series. Um, oh, and your favorite Zelda character is? Link. There you go, guys. <laughs> We won. I actually, ironically, I do like Sheikah Link the most. I'm pretty sure most people say it was all the characters Link, so I'm, I'm, I'm joking around. Well, I mean, how many choices do you get? Link? Yeah, Link, Zelda, Zelda and Ganondorf. It's a Sheik? Sheik. Yeah. And there's, there's Skull Kid. I know that there's... Yeah, a lot of people like Skull Kid. And I would cosplay Skull Kid, but he's very hard to cosplay. <laughs> Especially because of all that freaking... The textures that you got to get on on that. Oh, costume. there's Midna too from Twilight Princess. Yes, that's a whole different story though. I am not getting into that. <laughs> ah, stupid. Do you have a favorite Poyo character? I don't think I do actually. Mine is Amity. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I knew that much. Yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. Stupid freaking! I know that bomb takes forever to go off. I think, in terms of your favorite freaking uh, TMNT character, who is your favorite TMNT character? I'm gonna let you take a guess at that one. The orange one, Mikey. Probably not him. I don't yeah, know. Close, very close, actually. Because um, for a long time it was Mikey, but then I switched over to Donnie. Oh, okay, Donnie. Donnie's actually my favorite turtle. And of course, there's always people that are like. Well, why Donnie? He's, he doesn't do anything. He's just the smart guy. He's just the nerd. All he has is a bow staff. Okay. Wh how many situations have they been in where they needed Donnie's help to get out of the situation that they got in because the rest of them aren't smart enough for it? Who's the guy that invents everything? Who, and on top of that, what's wrong with a bow staff? <laughs> bow staffs are cool. Donnie finished these bitches all with a bow staff. <laughs> 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 and they did they freaking dude they did Donnie so dirty in the new TMNT movies well not, not new now but the freaking the realistic ones of the turtles where it's just like the ninja turtles not TMNT when they're really realistic like hyper realistic they did Donnie so dirty in the you mean, second you mean movie. the one where he goes, the knock knock, you're about to get shell shock. No, no, not that one. Don't be just my song like that. <laughs> <laughs> if, now I'm talking about the second movie when they're going down the freaking the avalanche and um and Raph and Donnie are talking because well, they're trying to flip over a truck or something. Mm -hmm. And Donnie looks at Raph, he's like, pushes up his glasses. Allow me to be the badass for once. Donnie doesn't talk like that! He does not do that. He's not gonna say, allow me to be the badass at once. He's gonna be like, Raph, move over, I got an idea. I wanna be the very best. Like no one ever was. Bum, bum, bum. To catch and them is know, my real test. Do, do you know what a real Pokemon Master is? To train him is my cause. The real meaning of being a Pokemon Master is becoming friends with every Pokemon in the world and continuing to meet them. Becoming champions not even, doesn't even count. That's what Ash said. You know, 
how long it's going to take for one person to do that. No, it's never going to be achieved, but that's the point. So that way Ash's adventures can be eternal. Yeah. Yeah. What a great ending to Pokemon. No. Sure. I mean, I mean... We're blasting off for the 50 million time! <laughs> <laughs> Why do they have to do a motto in every episode? I don't know. They, they want it to be extreme, extremely memorable. Don't know why. Don't know why it needs to be that memorable, but... Donnie, get the bow staff. <laughs> Seriously. Get the bow staffs on these freaks. Seriously, how can you not like a bow staff? They I hate him because of the bow staff on him. Dude, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> a lot of people have the dumbest reasoning for not liking Donnie. <laughs> they think because he's a smart one and he has a bow staff, he can't do shit. Can't. Nah, it's Donnie's the funny. best one. It's too funny. Like, I remember telling somebody at one point when Mikey was still my favorite, because it was between Mikey and Donnie. But I remember telling them Mikey was my favorite. And then they criticized me for it immediately. They're like, Oh, of course you like the goofy one that does all the wild shenanigans. What, what the hell does that even mean? Yes, Mikey's scatterbrained. He's got nunchucks because he needs to learn how to focus. That's why Master Splinter gave him the nunchucks. You need focus to work on nunchucks. What, what's so bad about that? This guy can do a freaking flutter kick with nunchucks. Oh, you know how hard yeah. it is to do a flutter kick with nunchucks? It's not realistically possible. Donnie haters. can't have nothing in this world. <laughs> I'm telling you, we can't have our opinions. Nah, can't. Not allowed. You know what I have to say? What? IGN, 7 out of 10. On what? On, I don't know, fan bases. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, no. Fan bases are more like 4 out of 10. <laughs> 4 out of 10. <laughs> they are actually cringe. And I will not lie about that. You, yeah. <laughs> Just gonna... Yeah. There are good people in fandoms. I, I've met some good people in the Sonic fandom. Oh yeah, there there are. There's just There's bad just... corners of the Sonic fandom. Right, like, they're, they're just hard corners. to find the good ones. Yeah, it's hard to find. Nowadays, honestly, my, my, my the best way to stay out of drama, just stay away from the people who are gonna have conflict with you just avoid them and, just, and yeah. if they try to start shit just block them best thing seriously do. like don't even consider yourself a coward for that because the last thing you want to deal with is drama and stress and shit just block people you don't have to put up with them they're not paying you <laughs> so <just> block them <laughs> that's true they're not paying you they're not paying you for anything not paying you for anything you don't owe them anything block them who cares if they consider you a, a, a weakling for that i don't what well, maybe i don't want to spend my time listening to your ass <laughs> <laughs> block them <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you're not paying me to make fun of me, so get out of my face. Literally. You're not paying me. Get out. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> so I think for hey, anybody hey. else who causes problems in a fandom, if there's somebody in a fandom like who legitimately like bothers you or harasses you, just block them. Yeah. Don't even fight with the them. The real reason them. they're doing that, they want to kiss you. That's why. Yeah, exactly. Any Anyone who's obsessed with you and has to mention you in tons of videos, they have a crush on you. Oh, yeah. Not even videos. <laughs> they just talk or about just you talk in you general know. or they're constantly bringing you up to get your attention. It's because they they really love you. They really want to kiss you. They want to hug you. They want to do a lot of things. I know. But you're just not having it. I'm and that's okay. It. You guys don't need to reciprocate somebody else's feelings. Exactly. That's just not how that works. Not at all. They need a hug. You know, Barney's always there for them. Not for me. Not Hell for no. Not for me. I ain't even a physical contact kind of person. I'm gonna pass on I mean, that. I mean, they just want a hug. Hell no. They're just like, I love you. No. They just want a hug. I'll pass. Not for me. But nah, fandom drama is so stupid. I like... I don't know, like, whenever I see fandom drama, I'm just like, who cares? Just block if someone in a fandom is bothering you. Like... I don't know why. Like, but, I, I hate when people do stream yard or like rants on people. Like, it's so cringe. Like, just block them. Yeah, that's not even cringe. That's just a freaking childish. Literally. <laughs> like, what are you, I a guess. high school bully? Like, get out of here. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's just childish. Like, whenever I come see on. arguments and even same thing with Twitter when they like go on and try to ratio, don't even ratio. Just block, block and report if they're being assholes. Don't even. 
Because it, all it does is it's just childish. It's petty drama. Yep, that's all it is. Literally. And if someone's harassing you or making you feel uncomfortable, block them. Definitely. Don't even mention them. You know. It's better to just block them. Now, now if they're now if they're like going to the point where they continuously are bothering you after you block them, then yeah, you have to say something or tell your friends or whatever, you know, let them know. But yeah, tell them go get a partner, go get a girlfriend or a boyfriend or both. Literally, be in a polyamorous relationship just I, without me. That's my thing on like trolls too. Like they have nothing better to be in a polyamorous them. relationship. Well, maybe they are in a problem. <laughs> but no, seriously, that's that's the thing about trolls or people in fandoms who cause problems. Just like fuck off. Like just block them. <laughs> like, fuck off. You don't pay me shit. <laughs> fuck <laughs> off. Get help. <laughs> Get help. Get therapy. Play Klonoa. Maybe that'll make you feel better. Seriously, go play Klonoa. Do it now. I underestimated the length of this stage. Never mind, it's done. 